last day of the combat focus shooting instructor development conference and we have some end user classes going on. mike's here, he's a former cfs student taking the advanced pistol handling course. the advanced pistol handling course includes some one handed manipulations malfunctions, reloads, things like that. mike, what's your experience been with these particular sights? those particular sights because of the sloping smooth nature whenever i tried one hand manipulation off of a piece of equipment generally it would slide right off i would have to revert to the extraction cord or doing what you're not supposed to do is dragging across the clothing and risking clogging up the gun. so here's what we're talking about a lot of people think that this type of a bump on this rear sight is enough for one handed manipulations. now this isn't as bad as the, the true wedges that come down and just make a ramp this is better, right? and having this friction tape on the top can tend to help but rather than have to worry about this rounded bump when we're racking on equipment, we're racking on a belt when we're racking anywhere rather than have to worry about hitting the ejection port or if the slide is forward and we need even more leverage having to turn the gun and hit the extractor area with some part of our gear what we want to do is have a good flat front preferably is what we've traditionally wanted which is the standard one or metal replacement and those will work much better than anything like this any of these wedges or ramps that you might see but what we're about to install is one of my new claw emergency manipulation sites now the claw emergency manipulation site is actually concave it's set up with an edge on the top of the front of the rear sight that's designed to catch specifically on your holster on your belt on any surface steering wheel table whatever you may be around that you're trying to rack on in that worst case scenario it's got a 0 0.180 wide notch we recommend you use a standard width front sight that wide notch will let you pick up the front sight a little bit faster and obviously we're going to need a sight tool to get this one out and to put this one in. Now, I've already gone ahead and removed the little Allen wrench, the, the Allen screw there, that's no big deal. We put, took that out. Now we'll get rid of this and we'll put the other one in. We're gonna let him run the other one for the rest of the day and then we'll take a look in a minute, uh, a few minutes and see how he did with that. All right, so Mike finished up the second half of the day with the claw emergency manipulation sight uh, mounted onto his, what do you got, Glock? 23, 23 there with a 9 millimeter conversion, as he should. Um, what'd you think? I thought it was great. It's so much easier to catch on any exposed edge. It just, manipulation was so easy. I just can't even get past that. Um, I highly recommend it to anybody else who's taking not just this course, but their self defense seriously. Because I never it, imagined I'd get in a situation to where I would need to manipulate single handedly and they're out there and you need the equipment that's not going to fail you when your life is on the line all right this gun's clear go ahead and give us a sample rack without looking there you go <laughs> good deal all right guys so um the claw emergency manipulation site it's something um i generally you know, i've never bought a product that i designed thought of to market i've been in the industry for over 15 years and not ever wanted to just put my name or my company logo on a product um just because we might be able to sell it or something that's exactly the same somebody else is doing a sling another type of site or something like that the emergency manipulation is something we see a lot of people have problems with when they don't have optimum sights. At the end of the day, the sight isn't there to rack the gun. The sight is there to help you get deviation control when you need sighted fire. That's the primary purpose of it. These sights will work just as well or better than a lot of other sights in a worst case scenario defensive shooting situation for that purpose. And I think they're the best sight on the market when it comes to one-handed manipulations to move that slide when you need to.